My husband and I went on a spontaneous road trip last week, and one of the places we unexpectedly wound up was the Brown Sheep Yarn Factory in Mitchell, Nebraska. They have an outlet store, and they sell factory seconds by the pound. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle, and I wasn't sure if I would ever get back to this store again. The one time I've been able to visit was back in 2008 when I was still a somewhat new knitter. I'm giddy. There is so much gorgeous yarn here, and I had a better budget than I did back in 2008, so I've got a yarn haul to share with you. I didn't have much advance notice that we were going to wind up in Mitchell, so I didn't have time to prepare a wish list beyond sock yarn. That's okay, because sock yarn... <laughs> They sell those factory seconds by the pound. It is $17 a pound for solid colors, $34 a pound for hand paints. And like I said, these are factory seconds. I think everything in that video that you just watched is factory seconds. That means the dye lot could be a little bit off. There could be knots in the skein. The prices are so fantastic. I am not worried about it at all. So the first place I headed was for sock yarn because I like socks. Wildfoot Luxury Sock Yarn is a wool nylon blend, 215 yards a skein, and I'm looking for, this is Lightning Lemon. This one is, what is this one? This one is Deco Lime, and the Deco Lime feels a lot softer than the lemon. So maybe that is... Part of the factory seconds the what is this one the rose bed feels a little rougher too and by rough I mean like all the other sock yarns that I have been knitting with the lemon feels softer than expected these feel about the way I would expect I was hoping for a lot of earth tones and there really weren't many solid sock yarns there so I wonder if someone else had visited before me. This one is Bluebird. I did not get always matching dye lots and I just looked at them to see if they looked close enough. I have had sock yarn from other companies from the exact same dye lot that was noticeably different from 20 feet away. So if it's socks and they are somewhat close, I'm happy especially if it's heavily discounted. This is Blueberry and it is nature spun fingering. It is 100% wool, but I will absolutely knit socks with 100% wool. Then I found the hand paints and uh, that was it. I did not move from that shelf. This is sock yarn. I cannot find what it is to compare it to new first run online. What I can tell from this tag is it is 75% wool, 25% nylon, 4 ounces. I thought it said the yardage here. It should say the yardage here. Oh, actually this is Legacy Lace. I did not realize that. This is 967 yards of lace weight that I bought thinking it was sock yarn and I am 100% happy with that because it is gorgeous. This is the one that was down in a corner of the shelf and I had to brush some cobwebs off of it, but I am not complaining at all. Now, yeah, the tag on this is slightly different, but it should be 400 yards and there are not color names on these, but they are gorgeous. These worked out to about $8 a hank and comparable yarn store sock yarns, in my experience, you're looking at upwards of $20. Even Patton's Croy and some of the craft store yarns, you're looking at a lot more than $8 for a pair of socks. I bought every color that I thought that I was going to to do. These are all different. And now I am wondering, oh 
Oh, this one's lace too. That's what happens when you're shopping in a hurry. And my husband was extremely patient. He was not rushing me. But I was also trying to shop quick so that it was a pleasant experience. So if we find ourselves in Nebraska again, I might get to go back. I thought I had yarn for 12 pairs of socks. Turns out we have two shawls to be. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven pairs of socks. If you're a knitter and you're near Mitchell, Nebraska, or near enough to make a detour, I 100% think it is worth it. Email them in advance. They'll give you a factory tour. It is fascinating to watch the process of how they make the yarn. 35 years ago, I volunteered at a historic woolen mill, so I know how they made yarn in the 1880s, and now I know how they make it today, and... I am so excited about knitting more socks that I can barely contain myself. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. If you've got good suggestions on patterns for wildly patterned hand paint yarn, let me know in the comments below.